So good morning everybody from Pillsbury State Park in Washington, New Hampshire. Still here for one more day. A uh, bit chilly out still. Not as chilly as yeah, the previous night was where it dropped down to uh, 29 degrees overnight, but it did drop down to 33, so it's still pretty chilly. <laughs> so anyway, just getting out of bed here, just getting all just getting out of the van anyway and making up some breakfast. So today I'm going to do something a little different for breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to make breakfast sliders. Why I decided to make breakfast sliders? Well, I made those biscuits with my uh, dinner last night. And I got three left over, and they're kind of small. I should have bought the grams instead of the uh, <laughs> regular size ones. But you know what? I'm going to put uh, eggs, cheese, and bacon inside of each of them and eat them, eat them up as breakfast sliders instead. Why not, right? So I'm just going to cook up three slices of bacon. <laughs> one, one piece of bacon for each of the three slices. And I'll just break it in half. And should be enough bacon for each sandwich. I'm going to mix up uh, two eggs. I'm just going to do a big uh, scramble thing and I'm going to slice it up three ways and put it on each of them. And I think it'll work fine. I think it'll be uh, <laughs> a, a quick and easy breakfast for this morning. Alright, so the bacon is done, so now we're going to do the eggs. It'll be easy to do. Legs, let them fill the pan up. Let's see how we're going to cut this now. <laughs> off the edge here. <laughs> and one, two, three. Here we go. Add the bacon. Breakfast sliders. All right, so my teeth are brushed, all the dishes are washed, breakfast is done. <laughs> Time to go for a walk. I'm gonna turn on the trail cam before I go. It's just watching out over the over the uh, campsite here and the road there. You just never know. I'm just curious what happens here while I'm not here. Let's turn that on. Oh, it's up and running. Latch it shut. that run <laughs> we'll see what it comes up with while I'm not here hopefully nothing or well I wouldn't mind seeing a deer come running through here but I don't want to see any people up in my sight <laughs> uh, so that's always fun to play with anyway I don't know where I'm going I'm going to go for a walk though I'd like to find the uh, some of the uh, remote sites uh, along the way too. sites 27 I was actually in site 36 yesterday we'll, we'll bring you along there Take a look at that if nobody's there. 37 I'd love to find. I didn't find that one either. And maybe we'll go over to Bear Pond or something like that. I don't know where I'm going now. But I want to get up for a few hours of hiking and see some scenery.
take my sweatshirt off already. It's getting too hot. <laughs> oh well, continuing on my walk here. I've already gone a mile and I'm still in the campground. Uh, bummer. These are the parking spaces. Those are some of the hiking sites. And there's people parked in them. <laughs> so, unfortunately I won't be able to explore those today like I was hoping to do. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I should have ran the camera yesterday when I was in Site 36. That's a cool little site there. Uh, you know, hike a ways to get to it, but it's kind of cool. So it looks like Site 27 is open, so that 27 is up this little road here, Balance Rock Trail. Let's see if we can go find that anyway. Then we're going to go down there and see if I can at least figure out where Site 37 is, even if I can't go into it today. Now this is the trailhead to Site 27. Don't know how far the actual site is, but <laughs> this is the trail height he trail head to it. Nobody here right now. This is site 27. <laughs> that is as remote as you can get. Yeah. I'd like to try this sometime. <laughs> this is cool. no visibility here at all which is perfect and a super cool fire pit too yeah I like this I'll have to try this idea sometime take my Subaru up here get myself a pole cart and pull all my camping gear down here or up here actually I had to go uphill to get here but <laughs> Uh, try some remote camping. Yeah, I gotta do that. Definitely gotta do that. And this is the toilet you get for one of these remote sites. Yep, that's the toilet. And you can see it's a hike through the woods to get to it. So, something to keep in mind if you're staying at one of these places. You might want to hike further down the road into the uh, main campground where they actually have enclosed porta pots. Or I'll just bring my own. My little chemical toilet will fit into the cart nicely and wheel right up to the site here. But yeah, this one's almost perfect. The view of the water down there, though, you probably can't see it through the. Uh, with the wide angle lens. All right, we gotta get out of here in case somebody actually shows up who's got the site re reserved. And back up to the split here. Down that way is site 27. Up that way is Balance Rock Trail. Now I'm not doing Balance Rock Trail today, but I did it the last time I came out here. So I will put a link to that uh, video from last year down in the pinned comment and probably at the end of this video too. So <laughs> it's really cool. If you haven't been up to that, you gotta see that. But. Watch the video there. It's, it's, it really is a rock that's balancing. But like I said, I did it the last time I was here, so I want to go explore something different this time. Yeah, this nice little area here with the little mini waterfall over there. They're calling a portage. I guess uh, people can kayak from this uh, pond over here. Come up here, take their kayak out of the water here and walk it up there to another pond which is also the entrance to Site 36. So I, <laughs> I unfortunately, again, as, uh, as I said, it's occupied over there, so I won't be able to show it to you. But that's the entrance to Site 36 over here. And I'd say it's approximately half a mile from the parking space. So it's, a, it's a bit of a haul to get your gear in, but not too bad. If I had that card, I'd have no problems. So Site 36 would be pretty good too. Not a hundred percent private because you've got that portage. People can bring their, they might be bringing their kayaks in to hit the uh, next pond from this one. So I have to look up how that works to see if there's like a trail system there to connect all these different ponds that people can kayak through. Not that I'm going to do it, but <laughs> my kayak is way too heavy for that. But and I'm too weak. But interesting though. And that's the entrance over there to Site 36. But like I said. We're not going to go in there because the site's occupied today, so we're going to continue this way. 
see if we can figure out where the entrance to Site 37 is and how far a hike that's going to be. Even though I can't actually go in there today because that's also very occupied. Grrr. <laughs> Wanting to see these places. The cool little bridge up here though. Obviously used for snowmobiling in the winter time. Your portage is right down over there. In the sun. <laughs> so we're in luck. <laughs> we can go take a look at Site 37. <laughs> so, so I was hiking over this way here and saw a couple of guys with a nice uh, friendly uh, German Shepherd coming by. And <laughs> turns out they're the occupants of Site 37 and they're subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked if it's okay if I take a quick peek in there and see what the site looks like. No problem. Sorry about the sun behind me. Terrible lighting. <laughs> I know. So, let's go find Site 37 and see what it looks like. Now, is this the entrance to Site 37 right here? I don't know. Ah, yep, it is. Good. Site 37, campers only, but I got permission to come in here. Ah, so let's see, how far did I hike from the parking space? Ooh, 0.4, yeah. Almost ah, uh, three quarters of a mile to get here. <laughs> Not bad. I can do that. Take a quick peek in here. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. <laughs> right on the water here. Totally private. Yeah. I think this is the site I'm going to do. So as far as I'm going to go in, I still like to respect people's privacy. But you get everything you need here. Under health cell phone services out here. Uh, Verizon's got a little bit of service. T-Mobile's non-existent. Okay, I can work with that. Huh. Yeah, I see a trip in my future. <laughs> All right, let's continue onward. Some more hiking to do. So to those two uh, gentlemen, that let me uh, take a peek in your site. Thank you for uh, thank you for letting me do that, and also uh, thank you for uh, <laughs> watching my videos. That was cool. All right, continuing onward to see what uh, Bear Pond looks like. I think that's what it was called, Bear Pond Trail. So I made it all the way up the Pond Trail. Oh, I'm out of shape for these climbs. <laughs> I need to do more of this stuff, I guess. Uh, so now I'm on the Monadnock Sunpea Greenway. So I guess if I hike this trail all the way that way, I'll go up to the summit of Mount Monadnock. And if I hike this trail all the way that way, I'll go up to the summit of uh, Mount Sunapee. There's another trail over this whole direction here that doesn't even show up on any maps. So it's got markers on it, so. Not even on Gaia. Kind of interesting, but we're going this way. Out of the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway, but there's another turn that will bring us back to the uh, state park. So we're going to do a big loop. And then we're going to work our way back to the campsite. So this trail's a little bit narrower, <laughs> but should be interesting. And uh, we'll see what's out there for uh, views and stuff along the way.
Kit Ridge Hill, 2100 feet. I think this is the highest point on the uh, hike here. Unfortunately, there's really no views from up here. I just know this is the highest point. <laughs> I think I'm also done with the uphill hiking now. It's all downhill back to the campground from here too, cause, which is good. I'm tired. I'm definitely out of shape on this sort of hiking here. I do more of that stuff and, uh, <laughs> coming up here. Yeah, this bridge looks real safe. Uh, I think I'm going to walk around this bridge. <laughs> it says seen better days. Uh, I think it's actually safer to walk on the rocks next to it. Oh, nope. Probably not while holding a camera in my hands. Yeah, oh, there's one, two rungs on it that are still good. <laughs> the rest are totally destroyed. Where the heck does that happen? Oh, that was a fun crossing. <sighs> Judging from all the rocks in this area here, I suspect this area gets pretty muddy in the springtime. Not too bad right now because things have been so dry. But uh, All the bridges in that though are totally rotted out and need to be replaced. A little trail maintenance is probably needed here. We have arrived at Mad Road Trail. Neither of these signs tell me which direction to take to get back to the campground, though. <laughs> uh, which is a good thing I have Gaia GPS. I don't know if I need to go to Route 31, or, I mean, obviously, uh, the campground goes to Route 31, but maybe this turns around, swings around and heads back to Route 31 as well, so. That's why we bring out Gaia. Alright. Gaia. Is we want to go that way. All right, excellent. That's why I spend 40 bucks a year for that. It's worth every penny just to have offline maps, uh, trail maps when I travel. It's been worth every penny I pay for that app. So even if I'm in a place with no cell phone service, I can check in and see where I am. I just got to make sure I remember to load the maps when I do have service before I go out. That's all. Nice pond. I guess that's Mill Pond. Much easier trail to hike than uh, <laughs> the uh, Manhattan Dock Sunnaby Trail was. I'm going to switch the uh, trail cam off. I know what it uh, got for footage later. If there's anything significant, we'll share it at the end of the video. I doubt there was, though. Everything seems quiet over here. But, oh, I'm tired. So that walk ended up being almost exactly eight miles from start to finish. Oh, a lot of walking. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> a lot of hill climbing. It was a good hike, though. Oh, and just as I expected, it's cold here now. <laughs> it was hot in the trail, but once I get back here, it's cold. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun here. Yeah. Just getting out for a bit. So, anyway, I guess it's time to uh, bring this video to a close. Remember, slow down, enjoy life, and always be kind. Alright guys, we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.